everyone welcome back to my channel so it is officially May it is May we're almost halfway through the year but that means a whole nother month of monthly favorite products so these past couple of months I did so much shopping so much shopping it's crazy so I have quite a bit of favorites this is probably the biggest favorites I have ever had <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and hop right in and share the products with you I will probably be talking really fast because I'm kind of in a hurry I'm on my way out the door right now to go um, meet up with my friend Lily you guys know Lily and we're gonna go see the new Blake Lively movie called the age of Adeline so if you guys have seen it let me know down below what your thoughts are by the time this goes up I will have seen it too so we can like chat about it <laughs> also don't forget about my Target Beauty Box giveaway I am giving away three Target Beauty Boxes I will link all of that information down below so you can check it out and you have a chance to enter to win so the first product really isn't anything new it's the Batiste dry shampoo you guys know that I love Batiste dry shampoo but it's the scent this scent this is the bright and lively floral essence I don't know if this is new or if I have just never seen it before but this smells so 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 good it has like a it's gone by the way you can see it's just squirting out air it has such a nice clean fragrance to it it actually smells clean it leaves my hair smelling clean which the other dry shampoos like the leopard one I love but it's like a vanilla scent the cherry one I love but it's like a cherry scent this one actually smells like freshly washed hair <laughs> I loved it so much that when I ran out I went and bought two more oh wait that's the wrong one <laughs> I bought two more. It's in here somewhere. Trust me, it's in here somewhere. There it is. Um, even though I still had a backup of my other favorite leopard one, I had to buy more because I love it so much. And the second hair product that I have, I don't know if I put this in a monthly favorites already. If I talked about it last month, I'm sorry, but I loved it so much that I'm going to talk about it again. This is the Bumble and Bumble Primer. So this is a lightweight pre-styler. Um, this is like a detangler spray, or it's like vitamin water for your hair, if you want to think of it like that. This stuff, I've already used almost half the bottle. It has been a true game changer in my hair routine. It just, it... It smells really good, first of all, so it leaves my hair smelling nice and like fresh and clean. It has like a slight citrus scent to it, but it just helps to really detangle like those unruly tangles that I get occasionally, and I love it a lot. All right, next I have two blushes. Blushes are like my kryptonite. <laughs> I cannot stop buying blushes. I have like a sickness. Um, but both of these I purchased during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale that just ended. Um, the first one is a Clinique Cheek Pop in the color Heather Pop. I am wearing this one on my cheeks today. And I had never tried these Cheek Pops prior to buying this one. I actually bought four of these. I bought two of them during the VIB Rouge sale and then I have two more that are on their way right now that I just ordered. But this particular color is just my perfect colored blush. It's like my cheeks like nice and rosy but better. It's that perfect dusty mauve color and I love it and the formula of these is so perfect. For me it lasts all day long and I have pretty oily skin. It lasts all day long and it's almost like a cream, powdery cream texture. It's really hard to explain but I love these so much and they're so cute too. I love how cute they are. The next blush favorite is the new Urban Decay Afterglow blushes. Now I did buy this one in the middle of this one and the Cheek Pop I bought in the middle of uh, April. Yeah, this is April favorites. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so I bought both of these in the middle of April, um, but I have been wearing them both non-stop since I bought them. This one is in the color Fetish, and this is such... Or, Urban Decay, I don't know if they had blushes before. I don't think they did, but the consistency of this powder is so buttery and so smooth, and it is super, super pigmented. So I find that I only need the teeniest, tiniest bit. I dot it on my uh, brush and then I just like you know put blush on but this color it's pretty similar to the Heather pop color you can tell what my favorite blush colors are just like the kind of pinky brown like mauvey dusty colors and this one is that same color and I love it all right next I have another cheek product and I made a video entirely about this hourglass 
uh, bronzer. It's a bronzer. <laughs> so this is the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. I did a first impressions video on it. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. But this, I was so excited when it came out because I am a huge Hourglass fan. I love their products. And to see that they had a bronzer, I was like in heaven. And it did not disappoint at all. It is just the perfect like bronze color. It's a little intimidating because it has a little bit of shimmer to it, but the shimmer is not very visible on your face and it's the perfect color. This one is in the color Luminous Bronze and I really, 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 really like it. Okay, next I have a product that I definitely meant to put in my last month's favorite video and I forgot, I forgot to mention it. I had it like in my little tray and everything and I forgot to mention it, uh, but that's okay because I loved it during April also. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Concealer, Complete Coverage Concealer. Mine is in the color Light Neutral. I love this. I'm wearing this under my eyes today as an under eye concealer and it is exactly what it says. It is a weightless, complete coverage concealer. If I set it with a powder, it doesn't crease on me at all. And one of the best parts about it is it has an applicator. So some of my other concealers, like the MAC Pro Longwear and the Tarte one, they don't have applicators, so I have to use my finger. Um, this one has an applicator, so it's so easy to just like brush it under my eyes. It's like a flexible applicator. The little tip like flexes back and forth, so it just kind of like molds to your little crevices under your eyes. And it is perfect. It does not crease on me all day long, and it covers those nasty under eye bags. Next, I have a rediscovered favorite. I rediscovered this in my stash. This is the Chanel Vita Lemur Aqua Foundation. Mine is in the color BR22. It's a tiny bit too dark for me, but as the summer progresses, it'll match me perfectly. This foundation is it's a cult favorite here on YouTube. I'm sure you've heard about it before, but it's just this like water-based uh, weightless foundation really it's so thin it's so watery but it covers so well and I like it because it's so easy to work with I apply it just with my hands instead of a beauty blender my finger and it blends perfectly and it has SPF in it and I don't know why I stopped using this I think because it I, I was too light I got too pale and it didn't match me anymore but now it's like kind of matching me again but anyways I love this so much I did use this in a tutorial like a long time ago if I can find it I'll link it down below so you can see how it works with my skin but this foundation is amazing next I have an eyeshadow palette I don't think I've talked to you guys about an eyeshadow palette in a very long time this is the Too Faced natural matte eyeshadow palette um, I picked this up a little over a month ago, but basically this is the natural eye palette, but all matte. So they reformulated them all and turned them all into matte shades. And I have been using this non-stop since I opened it up. I really, really like the color Cashmere Bunny. I also really like the color Strapless and the color Risqué, Chocolate Cookie. They're, they're beautiful, and you really don't need anything other than this palette to complete a perfect eye look. Um, I, if I want to add some shimmer like I did today, then I'll mix it with like a shimmery eyeshadow. But I am wearing this today, and I've worn it pretty much every single day since I opened it and I really really like it. I'm thinking of doing a tutorial using this two the, using this palette so if you want to see that let me know down below but Too Faced does not disappoint. This is an awesome palette. Right, next palette is the, er, I guess it is a palette actually. Next product is what I meant to say but this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I went on a hunt to find this during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. Um, I made a whole vlog while I was shopping, so I'll link that down below if you want to check it out and see that I went on this crazy hunt to find this. And I'm so glad that I finally did. I'm wearing this as my contour on my cheeks today. Um, and the thing that I like so much about this is <sighs> these powders are like fade resistant. It's so hard to explain. Uh, they're very, very, very pigmented. This color right here called uh, Shadow Play, it's kind of like a grayish, um, grayish, brownish, beige color. It's perfect for contouring. But there was one day where I was a little bit heavy handed and I tried so hard to blend it out and it would not budge. So in that instance, I didn't like it. But once I apply it correctly, like I did today, it's a godsend. It doesn't move and it is so perfect. I haven't really ventured into any of the highlight colors 
but I've used a few of the contour colors and I can't get enough of them. All right, three more products. I'm almost done. <laughs> um, the next product is the uh, Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. I picked this up with my sister. We both bought it a little over a month ago and this is a nighttime eye cream and I love it so much. I think one of the things I like about it is the scent. It has almost like a menthol scent to it, if that makes sense. Um, and when you put it on your under eyes, it like tingles a little bit and it just makes me feel like it's doing something, like it's working. Um, and when I was in the store, they explained it to me as Basically, it has an, a bunch of amazing oils in it, and it helps to reduce the puffiness, and it helps to reduce, like, the darkened under eyes. I don't know if, it, if I'd go that far, but it definitely hydrates my under eyes, and it makes them feel really, really, really good in the morning. Next product I talked to you guys about in a previous video about organic hair care, but this is not hair care. This is actually nail, ca nail care. This is the Apira Dior Argan Oil Nail, nail Therapy. Good grief, I can't speak today. Um, but this is just what it says. It's a nail oil. It comes with like a little dropper like this, so kind of like a medicinal type dropper. And this, my cuticles have not been the same in a very good way since I started using this. This is like magic cuticle oil. I, <laughs> that sounds so silly and so weird, but it is really, really good nail oil. And ever since I used it, I don't have a problem with like my crusty, nasty cuticles. Like if you follow me on Instagram and you see my nail pictures, you see my, my cuticles are just disgusting. But this has really, really turned that around and it smells good, which is also a bonus. And it's organic, which is another bonus. It's all natural. So it's really good. I will link their website down below if you want to check them out. Um, if you're into like organic beauty products, then you might want to just kind of see what they have. They have some good stuff. All right, last product is a perfume, and this is another thing that I picked up during the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. This is the Victor & Rolf Flower Bomb Perfume. I have had my eye on this for like months and months, oh, and I'm so glad that I finally bought it. This is like the most beautiful floral scented perfume that I have ever owned. I like it so much more than any other like floral based perfume, but it has like a sophisticated floral. It's like a grown up floral if that makes sense. Um, and I love it so much. If you own it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The side note or the, the bad, the downside to it is it is very, very pricey. It's very, very expensive, which is why I have like the baby bottle of it. Um, but it smells so good and the scent lasts a very long time. It lasts like all day long. I like to put it in my hair sometimes and uh, I'm not disappointed at all that I bought this. It's amazing. All right guys, well that is the end of this video. Let me know down below what your favorite beauty products were for the month of April so that I can check them out if I haven't already. If you want to see a more in-depth review or tutorial on any of these products, also let me know down below so that I can film that for you. And I think that's about it. So I'm so excited for May. I hope you are too. And I think that's about it. So I will talk to you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.